October 14th, 2021. We arrived in Chapter 7, the hardest chapter in the game. I used Marcus to kill one of the knights on the right side to make space for my other units to rescue drop Roy in position to recruit Zealot on turn 2. On the left, Rutger took care of the armor knight using the amazing armor slayer. The wyvern riders in this map gave me a lot of trouble. They were so strong that they killed the unit that I deployed specifically to deal with them, Dorothy. I was forced to reset and retrace my steps. Maybe if I had used Linmore, I would not have had this problem when playing Fire Emblem, the Binding Blade. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Chapter 7 of Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Lin. I'm here with Raisins once again. How are you doing? I'm doing very well this morning. Great. Mecca, how did we get here? How did we get so here? I don't remember these deployment squares. <laughs> so this is the first of what will probably be a couple times where I just have to split a chapter in two because it takes too long for one video. Uh, YouTube is not very friendly to long ass videos that not my entire subscriber base watches, which is completely fine. Uh, but that means I have to be creative when I split up videos, and the way I decided to do it for this playthrough is, you know, once we're getting, like, an hour in, or slightly less, I'll just cut the video off and we'll continue next time, whenever it feels natural. And so, a natural moment for me last time was, I died. Uh, one of my units died, and I was like, you know what, I should reset, because I don't like dead units. And, uh, now I executed the plan that we sort of talked about throughout the first couple turns of this really difficult chapter, uh, but this time I did it properly, so no dumb errors like leaving the hammer on Shanna when I was supposed to go to Roy who was then supposed to give the Zealot who then takes out the armor knight over here. Um, uh, Rutger actually using the killing edge to kill a mercenary over here and I also got a couple like somewhat lucky dodges and crits. I think this chapter is almost impossible to make luck proof and foolproof. It's such a difficult hectic chapter with a lot of things that can go wrong without too much control like I'm pretty sure it's hard for like Rutger to survive if he doesn't just dodge at least one hit out of three or something. Those won't be necessarily like horrible hit rates. Uh, they would like 50s, 60s, 40s maybe. But I think like sometimes you gotta dodge a couple things. But now we're here in this spot where you can probably take over the chapter. We have all NPCs recruited. We have Noah over here. Um, Trek is over here. Zealot is over here or Jared, whatever you want to call him. And everything is just fine. It's not great. Like we had to retreat from here because it was getting too overwhelming. But our units are alive at the start of turn. Four. So there's still plenty of time to come before reinforcements from the bottom, and we should be able to wrap it up here. But the main threat we gotta worry about right now is this, this, this Wyvern Rider guy. And, Wyvern, yeah. yeah. All the reinforcements from the bottom start at turn 10, so like you said, we have plenty Ooh. of time. Could you mind giving me like a quick look at the rest of the map and how many enemies are left? Because I do know the enemies tend to have large movement ranges. Wow, yeah. that is very few enemies, so... Yeah, it's really just a concentration on this side, that's the problem. And a couple guys that like came down from like beyond the castle walls to here, uh, they're cruising here, but I think this guy, not even sure if he moves right now. I know these guys stand still, like the two archers and the knight over here. Uh, these guys definitely move, but we don't even have to deal with them now if we don't want to. We can like hold back a little bit too. Uh, but my plan for right now is actually, I kept Dorothy on the field, <laughs> and my plan for mm -hmm. right now is actually like have Rutger go at the wyvern, because that's like the most, the most luck-based thing. It's like, he either crits this wyvern once, or if he just hits twice for like 14, uh, we can finish him off with... Dorothy, I guess. Uh, we're one damage short, actually, so I have to use a steel bow. I guess that would be the way. Or I'm gonna have to, have to chance it. Oh no. Or Shanna can come in for a fat zero damage somehow. That could also be a thing. Or we trade like a steel lance to her. But let's just let's just assume Rutger's gonna kill this guy. Come on, do it. Come on, kill. All right. We're good. Sorry. Ooh. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ish. But that isn't that enough? Uh, oh no, it's only eleven. No, we're just gonna have to do some Dorothy action. Uh, where do I put Dorothy? Here or here. I kind of want to keep the space open for like Roy or Lin. Although Lin can go from here, do this on this. On this. Oh, that looks guy. excellent. Yeah, this and is we really get a good. Lin animation too. Yeah, that's 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 really the most important part here. Uh, we use Lin to get rid of this calf. Then we have some options too. We could also hit the guy with the hand axe from Wade. Worst comes to worst, but that's really terrible. How does Wade do against the Cavalier just north of him? Because we could open up a square for, say, Marcus. Oh, he's on 2 HP, though. Yeah, he also... This guy's Iron Sword equipped, so that's not great. Yeah, this guy looks... A highly unideal situation, to say the least. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just go for this. <laughs> just go for this. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a 50-50. We're definitely 57, 43, whatever right. it is. Promote it. Ah, oh, close enough. Come on, dodge. Easy. <laughs> e let's go. All right. It's up to Wade, I guess. I don't even know. Oh, Wade can go from the arena and then attack there. And then oh. Just, uh, Very clever. He does want to be healed, though. I guess we get the calf out of the way and then use Alan to heal Wade. And hopefully Wade can kill the Wyvern. 
I think this is a good move. And Lin, Lin has the most guaranteed kill. I mean, it's double 83, she got it. Yeah, this is the most guaranteed Lin, he gets in FE6, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, in FE6, that might, that might as well be hundreds. Yeah. Okay. This also puts Lin in danger of, like, all sorts of things here that we hopefully take care of. We do have Marcus to, like, hold the choke point a little bit, though. And Deke as well. All right, Wade. It's all riding on this guy. Oh, Ellen is also 2 HP, by the way. It's uh, not an easy chapter to stay at full health at. Yeah, no. Well, that's the kind of thing is, you know, all, all your units are injured, but it seems like most of the enemies are dead, because last time we were on this, we had, what, probably 13, 14 enemies we were fighting at once here. We've knocked it down to about seven, so, you know. It's an improvement of sorts. Please hit. Thank you. Oof. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I'm glad I made a proper plan that definitely wasn't luck-based at all for this chapter. Okay. Oh, no. Not, a, uh, not one uh, bit. Uh, Right, you have a javelin, 16 attack. Yeah, Lin dies to this guy, so we have to wall this off and we have to rescue these people out of here, both, pretty much. Uh, we do have taxis available though. It shouldn't be a wall, it should be like it should be like Deke and Marcus standing here, I think, while they rescue Ellen and Lin, so Ellen, and then they, these units get dropped backwards by like Shanna and Roy, for example. I think that's the solution here. Uh, well, we, also we definitely have a lot of mounted units here in the back who can take care of it. Do we have a plan for these idiots on the right before we... Yeah, I, I'm talking about the red units, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't insult my units like that. They're trying their best, okay? Well, I know. Like, Jarrett can kill if he just hits like one hit on this archer. Uh, the soldier can definitely just kill with Alan if he wants to. I'm more worried about the mage who can attack Dorothy and kill her. And I don't think I have any way to kill a mage in one round besides Jarrett. Um... What we could do is just have Jared do that. Uh, his most accurate weapon would be Steel Sword. Unless we trade something around. Or finish him off with like one of the other 20,000 calves we have over here. How's Chad do against the soldier? Chad? Well, he doesn't live up to his name, but... Oh, uh, well, you know. He can finish off the archer if we have to do that. Because if we kill the mage, then there's nothing that threatens... Uh, if we kill the mage and the soldier, there's nothing that threatens Chad over here from like hitting that archer. So we could do some kind of gang up play on him. Is there a way we can wall off the mage from attacking our people in the west? Uh, I was thinking it'd be better to kill him, like, a little more, less resource intensive, because it's going to take two people to kill the mage, and we might as well just use those people to kill these guys, and we just use one Jarrett to kill the mage. Yeah. That way you also protect Dorothy, and we don't need a aggressive chopper from Dorothy. Like, I get the, I get walling off, it's like an idea we can do, but we have to protect, like, assuming you keep Dorothy and Ellen all in place, which I guess is not a fair stuff, we could just rescue Ellen out, and then it's, just, then it's just Dorothy we have to take care of. Mm hmm. Could Chad trade the Iron Sword over for a better hit rate, or oh, would he be in a dangerous position? Uh, oh, you could do it from here, it's just, we have to kill the Soldier now if we do that. Uh, we could just yeah, kill the Soldier now, we could just give this Iron Sword from Alan to uh, sell it, and just kill the Soldier here with him oh, easy. at the same time. Yeah, I forget, I forget I even suggested it, that's way better. Alright, let's do this then. Alright, that's good. Got to rid of the biggest threat, the Soldier. So yeah, he was one shotting Chad. Yeah, <laughs> by like two points. <laughs> this is a good Alan. This is a good ass Alan. This is really moving. Yeah. All right, and now we have an iron sword. I actually didn't check if he kills with that. He doesn't kill. Uh, oh, I have um, to get someone um, else involved for that. Also, that was he, my bad. He goes I should have thought about that. <laughs> yeah, if he goes too close, he also gets attacked by the knights. Which is not a piece of bad news. We might have to heal him first. Uh, but if we do that, we're probably fine. Let's see if we can kill the archer. I think a lance plus track should be able to kill with like Chad's help and everything. Uh, maybe lance alone first, because he has like a chance of critting. Uh, lance doing nine, for example, would be enough for Chad to go in for the two. No. Yeah, I think lance and track might have to help hit this guy, but then we'd be solid, I think, for the most part. We just need to heal uh, Zealot. Yeah, heals all that wall off. As long as we have some additional rescuers on the left side to deal with our Lin situation. Oh, Trek kill? Yeah, Is or it Noah the kill. I think Noah has like a more accurate weapon somewhere. Um, maybe not. I kind of want to keep Noah around because he can help rescue chopping on the right more easily than Trek can though. So let's try Trek. Is it true in this game too that a Steel Sword and an Iron Axe have the same stats? Steel Sword, Iron Axe. Uh, might be true. I think that's true in F7 as well, no? I'm pretty sure it was true in all GBA games. Uh, I'm not quite sure though, because FE6 has the stats all, you know, maladjusted. I have to hit maybe all the other here. games. Stupid archer. Ooh. Easy, come on. 
Just do it. Come on, just hit it. Easy. Okay. No I kill. We got there in the end. Uh, probably do have to be careful with our mounted units. Healing with Clarin looks good, but we still have to rescue some units back. Yeah, so... Which? Um, well, we need, like, Marcus Actually, and Deke do two rescues, and I'm Roy and Shannon do two. Like, they do the take drop. Like, that was my plan, is to go here. Ooh, I guess Rutger smart. is, like, technically a range of one ranged enemy, but if there's only one that attacks him, he's fine, because, like, the other ones will be walled off by Deke and, and Marcus and friends. So I completely misunderstood the plan, then. Yeah. I thought you were going to do, like, a rescue and, like, bring them back and take drop with other units, but... Yeah, so this is the plan, right? So Marcus takes his armor slayer real quick. I uh, probably won't need this Gant Lance for now. Um, and we're gonna like rescue, pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, we do need to rescue Ellen out of the way. And Deke. Oh, I guess Deke cannot. I guess Deke cannot do the armor slayer thing anyway, but it's good to give it to him anyway. Because uh, like, Deke needs to rescue Lin. Uh, Roy and Shannon are full, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Um, just take the armor slayer off of Marcus for now. Grab it's pretty useful on the Lin. Uh, I guess we might as well just. Yeah, this is fine. Rescue. And uh, we just take. Uh, uh, Roy can't. Re yeah, yeah, Roy's got to do Ellen. <laughs> uh, they're, they're both fine. They're both fine. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, he's got seven con, right? I forget. Yeah. And then maybe the mage will attack him too. Or like whoever will attack him too, because he's, uh, he's Roy. And then you go here. And say drop here. And go back a bit. We can actually. Shanna. Shanna could have participated in a wall if we wanted to. Uh, yeah, but she's not very good at it. Oh, no, I meant with the mage. Oh, she is yeah. very good at that. Well, the plan was, yeah, I guess we're just hoping to kill the mage at this point. If we fail kill the mage now, we're kind of screwed. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, I guess Shanna could have blocked the mage. Um, yeah, Shanna or Clarin could have both boxed the mage pretty fine. So. Uh, yeah, we'd have to box, fine, like, fine. there's, like, so, like, one here and one here could have been it, I guess, but then... Yeah, I guess the one threat is you would also be able to attack Rutger after Rutger gets hit by like a javelin here or something, so that's still a chance of death. I think we just like pray for mage kill at this point. Yeah, just pray. Except at this uh, point we like traded away one of his more accurate weapons the, that actually won rounds. The, the good weapons. Is javelin our best bet? Yeah, it might just be. It's our only bet. It still walls him off a bit though, so maybe it'll just stop. Right, we still have the... Hmm. Yeah, no I no, no steel sword here. Yeah. No steel sword. Oof. All right. Just uh, do, do the Jared, I guess. That's one. We should have done the math earlier. Yeah. Really should have. I only prepared for the wyvern kill. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. This Oof. is a problem. Yeah, right. but if we have the, if we have the turn from earlier. <laughs> so I think what we could have done, what we could have done differently is, you know, of course, done the math on the steel sword. Or even if this is the riskiest play, just do it first. Yeah. And that way you know what you need to react to. This is true. Well, we'll see if Dorothy dies or not again. But also I, just, yeah, I think she, I think she was the one who died last time too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dorothy. Oh, the enemy is saving it from last two. They'll just get their kill later. They always do. I mean, it's a range attacker, so... Oh, but these are range attackers too. Wait a minute. All right, easy dodge for Dorothy. Just double dodge, easy. See, she just, dodged. Wait, why is she saying something? Does she have a battle quote with him? Yeah, he's a boss. Don't okay. you know? All right, fair That's enough. That's why it's so hard. Zealot can kill him. He's a boss. Mm -hmm. That explains everything that I did this turn. Okay, everything else is looking solid though. So if I just fix this turn real quick somehow, using uh, my task videos capabilities, they might be through here. Like, the wall on the left worked fine. Yeah. So whole I think our plan on the left was very good. Yeah. Okay, I'll fix it real quick, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, fixed my mistakes, actually hit the attacks, and now we should be ready for an enemy phase that doesn't kill us. Uh, well, basically, the difference is we, we hit our attacks, and uh, we did the math in the correct and record. Record. Yeah, and Rucker crit. Exactly, yeah, doing the math in the right order is big, actually. Rucker crit, Lin missed, all that stuff. You know, the classics. So turn 10 reinforcements, that's a lot sooner than I remember. I thought it'd be like turn 25 or something, is what I remembered. It's insane. It? Maybe just because the turns are so long, it just feels like it's turn 25. Uh, but let me take a look at it, actually. So I can be sure, because it might be turn 12, now that I think about it. Mm, that'd be a lot more easy. I mean, you know, I know the boss is like some little quote where he's like, uh... We're gonna get the reinforcements, they're never gonna expect it. 
They always have a quote like that. They always say we're never going to expect it, but they always yeah. talk about it too. <laughs> but they do very frequently. If you're playing FE6 for the first time, do pay attention when the boss has a quote and says that there are going to be reinforcements coming. Because it means there's going to be reinforcements coming. <laughs> Sometimes life is self-explanatory. This should work out. Oh my goodness, Alan. Just gonna clean out this part so we can get the villages safely with the scrubby calves. Alright, so over here. Deek still not doubling. Do you double? Oh, Lynn actually doubles this archer. Good shit. Uh, she was a little injured, but I think we can let her take out the back cavalier, maybe. Uh, use the javelin, right? That's a big mistake, buddy. Might. My mistake. Use the halberd. That was. <laughs> Marcus, yeah, that was my mistake. Hubris. Equips the halberd. <laughs> Look, I gave it to him for a reason. You better use it. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, how am I gonna get rid of all these clowns? Uh, maybe it's Rothkar time. Uh, it's Rothkar the archer. Uh, Rothkar the archer. Uh, Deke just kind of runs off. Or like, Deke attacks. Rescue with Shanna. Heal Ellen. Ellen. Uh, with Ellen's help, Lynn kills a cavalier. And she's injured. Doesn't really work. Slowly going mad. Slowly going mad. Except there's, there's only three enemies here. I mean, the, the solution is obviously just be patient. Don't don't do anything dumb. But that wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Definitely gonna hit this archer up at least. That's why we get to train Lin. Uh, okay, how about this? We heal Rutger. I let him to kill the archer. Well, then can just heal herself. Or just kind of stand back and do nothing for a turn. I know Lynn's she's not used to it. <laughs> just take this guy out of the picture. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Perfect, perfect. Yo, I've Rucker and Howlin level ups in particular. Quite good. We missed one on off screen, but they got what HP, strength, speed, defense. That's so he's right. still going well. Yeah. Mm, okay. Can oh, drop Deke just turns fine. He can just Deke you know, too big. Do the sideline cheers. Look at me. I can't counter. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Listen to me. I can't counter. I'm helpless. Um, bait this archer. I think this is bad. Let's get the village right now. Yeah, tons of villages on the map, and in many maps, actually. Because enemies don't drop items, this is the only way new items ever get delivered to you. This, chests, and joining. Yeah, I guess shops could fit in there, but, like, not really. Because oh, yeah, shops aren't free. It's, like, the opposite. Oh. Yeah, shops are... <laughs> you can turn items into other items at the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Alchemy. Oh, calm down, That's Alan. exactly how it works. Okay, Alan, listen. I know we were talking you up earlier, but like you gotta chill. Ah, <laughs> got him. In case you don't know, uh, if you six enemies or a lot of GBA enemies actually treat a unit that has a one-use uh, weapon as a unit that cannot counter. So that guy thought, oh wait, ha cannot counter, but actually wait, countered very much. Thank you very much. Let's try oh, this that again. was so clever. I didn't realize what you did. Now he's perfect range for Lin or any other volunteers. Let's get about to get past him. Lin here, ah yes, beautiful. Get out of here. Get deleted. All right, Lin, level up. Strength. Please get a good one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, At least it wasn't speed. res. What? <laughs> At least it wasn't res. <laughs> like, I got quite of res. It's, it's defense time. By the way, it is right in front of our eyes right here as well. But there is an arena on this map, <laughs> and the arena in FE6, you can use, you can send a unit in there. You wager some gold. If you win the fight, you get the gold back. If you lose the fight, you lose the gold and the unit. So a fair trade. I. I have a feel, yeah, exactly. I have a feeling, Mecha, we won't be using the arena much. I don't think so. No. It's, uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, obviously, I'm not playing chapters from full reset after dying, but I'm not willing to completely relinquish all my control over this game in the arena <laughs> like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. I control over life and death. I, I've checked this like five times. So I'm really proud of this wyvern. Um, did you end up checking the reinforcements? Uh, they're turn ten. Oh, all right. Okay. Well. So let's decide to miss this mage again, so I guess we can use this excuse to fire an arrow with Dorothy again. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, the actually, opposite you know of mage killer, Zealot. Oh, come on. There you go. 
<laughs> Mage Code of Dorothy. <laughs> Better than Lin, confirmed. Alright, Trek. Uh, bait this guy so we can kill him with Jarrett's. Um, we'll just have Lance visit that Far Out village, I guess. Far Out? Far Out. Far Out, bro. And we get our first promotion item. Oh, that's right. The Hero Crest. We can usually use that to promote Rutger. Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's the thing I really want to do because it helps so much with increasing, decreasing the tedium of some chapters and boss skills especially. But it's also like, I'm using Deek long term for the first time in a long time. I'm using Wade for the first time ever. So it's like, uh, I don't know. And by the time this episode comes out, I've probably already made my decision. So <laughs> Yeah, we probably already promoted whomever it is that we're going to promote. I will say... So this hero crest has, at the moment, four eligible candidates. Of them, really Deke and Rucker are the strongest, and really you can kind of go either way. It just depends on your playstyle, how much you like the unit. I would say I pretty much always tend to do Rucker over Deke, just because, like, I don't know, I don't really like Deke as much, but maybe I'm just simply unenlightened. No, I think and you're right. Was I just think Rutger's promotion bonus is also better, and I think there's a generally good rule of thumb, is you promote units that benefit from it the most. Not just the best units, but the ones that benefit from it the most. And oh, true, yeah. Deke gets X's, which, like, don't get me wrong, X's are good, especially in FE7, FE8, where getting iron X's is a huge deal. But in this game, I mean, you can count the amount of times I've used the 1-2 range weapon on, like, maybe one, maybe not one hand, but maybe two hands. And it's just, it's not a pretty picture, how good their hit rates and everything. Exactly. Um, I want Alan available for killing the Wyvern, for sure. Because he's that good. And like Dorothy, you can't really rely on Dorothy to land a hit, can you? I also want to steal this red gem with Chad, which is why he's over here. Uh, so we gotta be very careful about him, but I don't want to like turtle it super hardcore, because then we get ambushed by some dudes from the back. I don't want that either. Uh, good shot, we should probably visit it. Actually, this is a very good shot. Yeah, let's visit with Shanna. Let's that see what we, we can tell. here. I don't know how much we need from this, but I think I, don't, I want at least one, maybe two chest keys. They're really useful in this game. And then door yep, keys, I don't know. Do you usually buy door keys here? Uh, it depends on how much I'm planning out the run ahead. I do sometimes buy some door keys. If I'm just playing casually, I might not, but two two chest keys is usually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, they're only 50 gold. Like, yeah. If you end, even if you end up throwing them out after, like, mm -hmm. come on, dude. You're if you're right. willing to buy a bowl, you should be willing to buy six door keys. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna buy months, men so I can spam them. Um, I do plan on using at least one mage at some point. It's pretty much too late for Lou, but I might want to use Lydia, so I'm gonna get like one more 420, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is the way I usually shop when I haven't planned out a run. It's just, I might need some of this, I might need some of that, let me just buy it. Whereas the more planned runs are usually more like, uh, okay, I need to buy five javelins and eight and a half hand axe, right? Eight and a half, 14 javelins always. Exactly. The Don Don plan. Get it over here. Uh, just keep spamming heal and mend on Ellen. She'll probably be the highest level on her unit at some point with this, at this rate. Like she just gets free XP everywhere. And over here, probably not too helpful in this case. Uh, yeah, you just stay where you are. Honestly, I might have enough firepower for the wyvern at this point. I mean, you better. Marcus is in range, so uh, I don't know if Marcus doubles this guy though. Uh, oh, he's not in range actually. 13. I was being a fool. Way down with three, eight speed. Marcus doesn't have speed gained yet, so actually I don't think I have enough yet. Uh, let's go up here with you. Oh, we can do like a cute little thing here. Yeah, I thought the Wyvern was one square further left. Ooh. All right, let's see. Nothing happens here, I think. Yeah. And then once we're done with the Wyvern, chest can go, uh, chest <laughs> chat can go get the chests. I mean, that's basically his his whole character is getting chests, so that makes sense. All right. Uh, that's the thing too, people. Go ahead. commented on thieves being unable to promote. It's like, well, they don't need to, <laughs> right? Chests don't have stats, so why bother? All right. Jared, my boy, go ahead. Do the thing. Kill Lin. Lin the Wyvern killer? Lin the Wyvern? Oof. She got the Soul Kadi later, right? <laughs> she does get the Soul Kadi, actually. Some people haven't asked in the comments like stuff about Lin. Once... The thing I should elaborate on is... Lin promotes with a Orion's Bolt mm -hmm. in this version, because I made it that way. Horse Slayer, very good. And uh, we first, the first get a Orion's Bolt, I think either chapter 8 or you get like one in 11 or so, but you definitely get one somewhat early and it doesn't compete with a whole lot, which is one of the reasons why I made an Orion's Bolt or had it made an Orion's Bolt. 
And she also will get the Soul Kadi around the same time that Roy will get the Binding Blade. So that's what you can expect out of Lin when it comes to events. Turn 8, okay. Yeah, I think we're solid here. That does oh. sound good. We also picked up just a moment ago, you might have missed it, probably the best weapon in the entire game, the Horses Lair. Ah uh, yes, the, hair, the layer of horses all around. The lair. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not just saying that for funny meme jokes, it's like actually a really strong weapon in this game. <laughs> It's insanely good. It's kind of heavy, but triple might is one hell of a drug. Mm, we need to hit this. But we need so much firepower for this guy. Holy shit. Do you, like, not die to him? Okay, cool. He actually doesn't die in one hit. That's good news. Um, okay, let's let's go for some fireworks here. Let's try to hit. See if we hit this. Deke. Oh, come on. Whoa. It's fine. I was really just moving at him so Wade can get a support bonus. That's oh, that's excited. so smart. Put the killer axe? Yeah. And before we crit. And miss the red gem. Oh, that could have been a thing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake, I swear. Okay, uh, Jarrett, go ahead and attack from above. You don't have zero crit, so this should be fine. What it takes to bring down a generic enemy. <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Let's get it. And Jared's speed advantage is really huge. And then we go here, let's do the red gem. And I do wonder if Lin can kill him. 13 defense though, that's that's not nothing. Yeah, that's actually a bit too much. It might be Dorothy time. Uh... I mean, if there was ever a good map for Dorothy, it's this one. <laughs> it's the last one. <laughs> the last one is a good map for Dorothy. Wait, really? I mean, that's where all the easy XP is at, right? Oh, that's true, that's true. Shortbow gaming. Nope. <laughs> she refused to kill. It's free real estate now for anyone who wants it. Dorothy the pacifist. She's like, you gotta feed this to Lin Mecca, come on. <laughs> Look, she can't get it. It's not possible. Okay, I'm Ooh. not I lied, it's possible. It's it can be done. Painful. It can probably be done. Ah, oh, if Lance crit here, we would be able to feed it. Unfortunate. Guess it'll go to the chat, Alan. With this good old Slim Lance. <laughs> Alan Slim, Slim Lance. Lance. What they call him. Shanna's watching, like, what the hell are you guys doing with my Slim Lance and why is it working? <laughs> okay, I know there's reinforcements from here. Did they come when you open a door and when you pass a line? Oh, when you pass a line. So okay. if you take a look, basically the fence. So one above the fence. This is the line? Yeah, if you enter that line, you'll trigger the zone or. If you look at the door here. Or if you open the door? Uh, if, if you look at the door, this little, like, pit area that's, yeah. like, below the line, these four squares. The two on the right are also part of the zone. Oh. The two on the left aren't, however. What's it? Okay, all right. That's um, oddly specific. I mean, don't look. I, I I didn't put the game together. I just play it and avoid the reinforcements, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you, like, open a door, and then you just kill the boss in one turn to avoid the reinforcements? Uh... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Even if the reinforcements spawn, actually, you're kind of fine. Because the way that they move, they just, like, step on each other's toes, and no one can attack anyone. Oh, alright. If uh, you're in the boss room. If you're really... outside, I have no guarantee. <laughs> Let's see, do I need more chavies or anything? I kind of wonder. I think I didn't buy many, so I'm going to buy a couple more. I don't mind running out of gold. I'm probably going to sell some stuff later anyway. I have a red gem in it itself on chat. This is the downfall of not bringing Merlinus to any of the shopping maps. Is like you get done with this giant chapter, and it comes to shopping. It's like, what do I have? No idea with? what you want to get. Yeah, I know. Uh, I look back. I have like thirteen iron lances. Like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me in real life. Okay, I uh, can feed these to Shanna. Wait, this is not part of the zone, right? No, it's not part of the zone. Right. We'll be safe there. Time to give her some more uh, shin wiggling room. To... <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but fair. <laughs> It is how it is. I actually don't know if she goes from here. If she does. Cool. Let's go. Done hit two in a row. Get Lance Rank. Get three Wexp. Honestly, even if this activates the zone, it's fine. Because they're not. They're behind the door. Yeah, and they're, they're way off. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Shanna. It's turn nine. He's going to have his line of dialogue. I don't know why I keep compulsively checking. I will say, the first row of cabs is not ambush spawn. Oh, you're right. The next one's Ardo. Yeah, all the ones after. The ones on, what is it, 15 and 20? Yes. That's kind of mean, though, because it's like, 
Haha, <laughs> they'll come soon and then you come and like, okay, this was them. This was the whole thing. And it's like, yeah, the reinforcements will come. <laughs> and you're like, okay. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. And you see one wave and you're like, okay, that's it. And then you just another wave and you just, I don't know, I guess I'll die. Okay, I definitely don't have any of these left. I know they're not that good in this game, but they're kind of nice. Um, these are kind of nice too for wait for a while. It's like the only axe yeah. he ever wants to use anyway, for the most part, besides the killer. And they're pretty handy to have. Like, I don't think I use iron blades a whole lot, but I'll buy one anyway, because Deke, Deke like run out its first iron blade. Oh, for sure, for sure. Okay, so I guess we definitely want to open a door and then just sh and send him along to the other side where he can get some treasure. Uh, maybe Noah will accompany him. I think he's walk there on his own from here. Uh, right, he's about two turns away anyway. Yeah, and then this priest has kind of got to go. He's kind of being dumb here. So they come like the same height as the boss, right? Uh, actually, at the very top of the screen. Yeah. Oh, that's oh the boss is one down, right? Yeah. More hit. Mm. I'll take it. Thank I you, guess. Deke. Oh, like here, yeah. Okay, and they're like mostly oh, ranged attackers, right? Uh, four soldiers, four, two mages, two archers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that sounds pretty ranged to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you will Marcus, or, yeah, Jared, same thing. <laughs> Marcus, Zealot. Same thing, but with plus two speed. Pretty much. Plus two speed. One of them has a Roy support, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Does they actually? No, they don't have supports. Uh, Marcus was not included in the other support grinding, so we kind of missed out on all his friendships. Ooh, rough. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're Trigger not in the zone up. yet anyway, so it's just like, camp out here for a second. Uh, yeah, nobody has entered the zone. Yes, the Slayer, right? Yeah, you, you better come along with this. Yeah, I was thinking of the Horses Slayer a moment ago, and... I'm kind of drawn back to the time when I was like, oh, don't use the Armor Slayer. Like, you want to save it for the Armored Enemies. I'm kind of thinking, like, in a sense, how how wrong I was with the way that I play FE6 in that regard. Because, like, the Armor Slayer is kind of a good weapon. The Horse Slayer is kind of a good weapon. Like, I'll just hit regular enemies with the Worm Slayer sometimes, too. Like, you know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. You gotta use your good weapon sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. I reckon I can get through all the reinforcements and seas and everything before the cast Ooh. catch up to me. It's kind of Ooh. kind of how pressure many, here. How many turns away? Well, you've definitely activated the zone with Chad, so... Oh yeah, we have. It's kind of... I mean, there's two ways to go about it, but I either put units here and meet them where they're at, uh, or we stay back and let them come to us. Uh, but I like at least getting a range of some of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. I'm gonna assume they reach Jared here if I just put him there. Seems like a fair assumption. Now, actually, so one thing is the soldiers will be on the outside and the mages will be on the inside. So the soldiers will move first and occupy a lot of the attacking squares. Oh, if see. you take a look at these ones. That's fair. So. Okay, I'm pretty sure Jared can like survive being sort of close. But I know the hit rate on this guy with the armor slayer is absolutely terrible. Because, you know, FP6 and he just put a throne. Like, they put this little part inside just so they could say they have a throne. Mm hmm. Very mean spirited. Hey, blame Hector. He's the one who built the place. No, I'm kidding. He built it around armor knights. Okay, well, we'll see how far they get without dying, I guess. Um, we can definitely kill some of them with Alan on enemy phase as well, actually. He's really good. Or so I heard. Uh, I also want to support. heal. I want to heal my other healer before they die. And he's on. He's on. On. Okay. Heal here. Pop everyone off. Yeah. Oh, especially Ellen, because like, if you ever put her on range, she's dead. Yeah, literally ever. <laughs> That's honestly maybe healing her with overkill, because he does die to everything. But you know, habits, habits die hard. I think it was wise. There might be a mage or something that she could tank. In fact, there are two oh, mages coming up now. There they are. There's the whole squad. They're All coming right, good too. luck, everybody. <laughs> Don't die too hard. All right, Jarrett, show them why you're a Jagan, why you're strong. Oh, elf fire. That's new. Cool. He's uh, he's learned to attack. He's, he's practiced his target practice against mages. <laughs> he got better from the past few attempts. Does he get stacked out? I don't think so. 
Even if everyone hits, I think Zealot's still alive. Might not be enough squares anyway. Some of them might go for Alnia, especially the mages, because Zealot has so much res compared to Alan. They don't really look at hit rates, I believe. Like, not really, not as much as damage, at least. Okay, they got they did get blocked, like you said. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies, and some of them are ranged the up pass. Something tells me I don't think I should be able to kill all of them in one enemy phase. It seems a little unlikely. Steel engine. Mm. How much damage? One enemy you take? phase. That's actually sizable damage for him, and that's Jarrett. We go back one turn and go back up. And if we go back, how far do we go back? These cats are spreading themselves thin. Mm -hmm. Do you think us. we could move units to like the far left and the far right in order to split up the enemies and which ones they're targeting in enemy phase? That'd be funny. Just put Shanna here and make him go for her. Oh, honestly? Okay, Wait, that's guys. actually that's I'm so a, funny. Guys, I'm over here, guys. Didn't if we do that in like Awakening where we just moved like some scrub flyer like out there just to make sure they went for her. They go with like the number oh. of turns it takes to reach to her, but I think this is pretty optimal for them going there. I can stall them a bit. We'll see how it works I out. I will say, one of, one of the cav reinforcements is not like the other. It seems like Mech and I are trying to skip them out right. <laughs> but one, of, one of the cav reinforcements is... Uh... <laughs> this is uh, this is Marcus. Very good. He joined you in Chapter 1, but he uh, yeah. he lost his promotion. I mean, he still has all his good stats, though. He has more strength than Marcus, actually. This guy's insanely oh, powerful. Wow. I think he one-shots Lin, for example. No, he doesn't. Oh. Barely doesn't, because ours is um, our body. Okay, we can... There's only one wave of these boys, right? Yes, yeah, just the one. Okay. Wait, let me super-duper double-check. Let, let, let me go on all, all the known websites. All the resources. Certainly someone has written this down. Okay, look. Jared has 11 defense. Marcus has 9. I don't think I can expose Marcus, but I can probably, like, sell it back a bit and have him get some more kills. Just kind of go about it the easy way. These guys... I think I, even this guy reaches Shanna in 2 turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they should, in theory, go for Shanna. As long as they can't reach Ellen in 2 turns, which honestly they can, no matter what they do. So it might not be possible here. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to move Jared back a turn and then heal him. Uh, you can go here. Jared here. Just use Iron Axe for now, I guess. Heal up. Good luck, us. Part two. Good luck. Javelin here. Um, Roy back a bit. Fancy things with him. Move you back a bit. Fancy dropping you here. Go here. Heal. Oh, you don't have a heal. Oh, yeah, actually, your friend does, though. Can I borrow this Sorry for a drop in. <laughs> I need this. Oh, we could have been fancy. Use the unlock staff on the door. Oh, yeah. That would have been more XP, too. Mm -hmm. Look at rescue drop on a scrub unit. Okay, get back here. Not a range, not a range. Uh, who are we holding here? Clarine? I think Clarine can take a hit from this. 16. 17? Maybe not. 17? She needs full health to survive exactly. the hit. Oof. <laughs> She's off by one. Uh, Alright, actually, actually, this is pretty easy. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Let's go here. And just use it. extra unit. Yeah, just use Thank extra you unit. Try. Exactly. Very cool. You know how it is. They give us, like, literally... Is this... Nah, Sue's missing. Otherwise, it would be literally every mounted unit yeah. in the <laughs> roster. Oh, nope. You're not quite split up, but sort of. Okay, this is Some good. It's XP stealing, but I'll permit it. XP stealing is going on the good unit. I want to get at least one mark, one zealot level up. If he gets only HP, I'm a prophet. I'm starting a religion. Zealot is the god. Surpassing, surpassing even past the Farians. Yes. Wait, did you say religion because his name is Zealot? That's true. <laughs> I knew it. Past the Farians, it's like what the. 
uh, religion about the thieves on maddening mode or something? Like, what's that? <laughs> Wait, what did they have to do with pasta? Oh, oh never mind. Nope, they're all going this way. That's not great. Well, we had a good plan. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> this, the enemy didn't cooperate with our plan. It's their fault, after all. Yeah, it's, come I, on, guys. I think at this point we do have to fire power. To bomb Luanga through and I just choke this point with the uh, Paladins again, maybe. Mm -hmm. For example, if Marcus were to uh, attack... We could just attack this mage and leave the archer alone, box him in. And that's a free kill. And I'm pretty sure you don't need a silver to kill, but I've been wrong about Paladins King Mages before, so what weapon do I use? Uh, Iron Swords. I need to do 12 damage, need 16 attack. So you need a 7 might weapon. Oof. Now guess what Iron Lance is? A ho! Never mind. Intelligent mecha. Math wins. Again. And then he misses. Well, yeah, but then I can blame the RNG. That's true. I forgot about that part. Easily. And we got through without using the Silver Lance, too. Yes, that was the most important part. Um, it's actually very impressive. You could do the same thing with this soldier. And be like, okay, you're, you think you're smart by being there, but actually, if I just put one more unit in your way, you can't attack anyone that I care about. <clears throat> Take that guy out. And we're at the mercy of uh, good old FE6 throne, of course. It's fine, we're getting through this, we're getting through this, we're getting through this. Just punch on through. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Just have one of your friends heal you. It'll be fine. It'll yep. be fine, it'll be fine. We still have Alan left, right? All reliable? Uh, yeah, all reliable. Uh, so Lance is all the way back here. And if Alan is getting involved, we want him to be in support range. Like, say, about here. Oh, he, he lost his trusty Iron Lance, but it's okay, we have a we have a Lance that can trade to him. Mm. Uh, how about here? We could trade... Hmm. I'll just trade from here. We have enough units. Fair, fair. We have enough units. But I'm sure we have it, yeah. We definitely have it. Uh, maybe not in range of the boss, because he has a spear, I think. Yeah, not a big fan. Not a big fan. Uh, hold up. What about that? I've seen worse. Uh, we do have to gotta kill that that dude over here, though. Uh, who has the iron axe? Wait, you have iron axes. Give me back my iron axe, you filthy thief. Hmm? I have the steel sword instead. There we go. Just kill the soldier. Easy. Oh my goodness. How oh my, come on, dude. <laughs> come on. I was like... I was literally about to say how awesome Wade is. <laughs> had to ruin it like that. Just had to. Just, just had to. I mean, uh, actually, between all these units, I think we have it. Like, yeah, easily. We still have these units. That's right. Alright, all reliable with two more hit than Wade. <laughs> two more hit. I mean, it makes a big difference. There's something immensely satisfying about bringing down these giant HP bars on these FE6 units in this one hit. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. That was coming. That was a long time coming, honestly. That's, that's pretty real. That's here. fair. That's fair. That's All fair. Right. Dorothy still useful? <clears throat> uh, can we get an early start in this boss with the armor's layer on Jared here? If I trade it to him, I use a Vulm. Uh, I'm using a sword against him. Yeah, he will it's live. Crit, right? He will live. Mm -hmm. I can also heal him, which is even better. Uh, just this soldier has to die. If we do that. And I don't have a concrete plan for it. But I do have two attempts with javelin users. Who has real. the armor slayer? Uh, it's on Deek. So Jared will have to... If we're doing this, we're going like here, trade it, and then move up to boss. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Trade it, yeah, use like, a bomb, go up there with the armor slayer equipped. Pretty uh, smart. But if I don't kill the soldier, he will murder my Deke. The question is, are so we going to risk Noah more. and Trek hitting their targets often enough for it to save uh, Deke and his, uh, his pitiful life? How well does Lin do against the soldier? Because if we could, we could use Noah and Trek to rescue somebody and then have Lin hit with, say, a Minikati. Um, well, okay, so we know our Lin is like tanky as fuck because why not? 15 attack, so 13 damage, or Iron Sword, even better. Hold up. It's like what? It's 12 attack, 11 with open triangle. So I would nine, kill. nine. Yeah. Of course, the What's hit rates will be like worse ish. Right? Will it be? I mean, actually, 118 hits, uh, 108. 
Or avoid. That's 100 hit. Yeah, that sounds like 100 hit to me. Okay, you've got me convinced. Yo, we find we found it out. Lin good, guys. <laughs> Lin is actually good against the, those guys. Okay, so we get the armor's layer, and we heal up him so that in future it'll be easier to heal again if we need to. Go up here and get ready to rumble. And wait, Lin has to move, right? Yeah, okay. And these guys do not have to move. No, they do not. Um, so uh, the question is, we have to rescue rescue Rutger, right? Yeah. Okay, so Rutger gets out of the way. Ling goes up. It's like, hey, what's up? Found it. Easy. Easy peasy. How does she have 24 HP? So, like, when did this happen? Magic. That's what happens when you have HP level ups. Like, I mean, if you're going to get just HP level ups, you know, like Zella, you, you still mm. get a lot of HP that way. That's true. I always forget that fact. Out of range. I would like Roy. Uh, this is not great, I guess, but it's whatever. Um, Roy, like, has to go north. Like, yeah. I mean, he has to be here to set out of range yet, so even if we kill the boss next turn, we still have to fight the Cavs for a turn. Mm -hmm. Also, Unless the Shanna maneuver works. Oh, um... Well, what can she... Oh, you mean like distracting the Cavs? Yeah, well, I think they'll like the idea of attacking Elm too much. Also, mm -hmm. Elm has to be in range of the Archer, I just realized. But she should live, she live by 1 HP, though. Elm could, like, we... walk over by Trek and evacuate, maybe. But then we don't have anyone with, like, a healing staff to fight the boss. Yeah, yeah healing stats are important for fighting. Uh, we can heal Lin so she can kill a calf next turn. Like, it's fine she's if she, 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 can, she can take a hit from the archer. She's uh, just one, one HP is enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good thing we healed her with green, huh? Actually? <laughs> we had the foresight. Thanks, past us. Go here. Uh, Clarine still doesn't well, survive. Ellen. Clarine's going to have to like actually evacuate. Actually, run away. Um, so this group. Oh, we have Chad too. Yeah, Chad. Just take this one, I guess. Rapier, yay! No Monikati, just Rapier. Rapier too. Open it. The, there's a third chest over there with the Monikati. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. it might be worth to just have um, Shanna fairy clearing over the wall, just so we have an extra healer here. Or do we just Actually, have clearing run away? It'd be pretty good. Is there any way we can get these calves to go after Shanna? I don't know, man. I feel like they're too enticed by Ellen. Yeah, it's, I don't blame them. Not one bit. Oh. Yeah, Roy's in range, Mecca. but it's fine. It's not the champion calf. This is the champion calf. He's not in range. Yeah, it is. We're good. We're good. Yeah, it's not, it's not the calf. Uh, well... Maybe not the, le maybe the, not the left three, no? but maybe... Yeah, I did do shopping earlier. Um, okay. Maybe we can have Shanna go here and see if they like it. That If this guy is like, oh, that's, that seems appealing, actually. It's only level five Cav, but it might be worth the distraction. Yeah, Still it's, one, it's one pure Cav. Yeah. Oh, she does need to be on a traversable square in order for him to detect her. Okay. Looks traversable to me. There we go. All right, here's Dubious. Just don't get crit. Oh, right. Ooh. Dubious has a dubious crit rate. One miss so far. Going well. Going strong. Two misses. Thank you, Dubious. Mecha, why aren't you using the hammer against the boss? Because even with weapon triangle... Armor Slayer has higher hit. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, they don't care about Shanna at all. Not a single oh, bit. Oh, wow. Not one bit. Great beer. Let's go. <sighs> that's not... Yeah, that's not the block champ, dude. Um, so what we do now, I think... Who has the layer? Uh, it's, it sounds Zealot, but we can bring it to Deke, who has... I think it's the horse's layer, but... About a little more... Oh, that, that layer, yeah. Uh, that one's it's way on out of position. This guy, I think. Or it's not this guy. It's on that guy. Yep. It's not very good with it. Um, you know, they don't have any swords, so Wade will probably hold out for a little bit. He might get doubled by the Silver Lance. Oh, but never mind, you know what? This guy gets doubled by every cow. Every cab I have gets doubled by him. Or rather, you know, you know what I mean. Can Alan use the armor slayer? Uh, no, he can't really can use steel swords. Uh, no. He's Oof. close, though. He's close. He's close. Um, if he could, that would actually be really good against his boss. But he can obviously not. Yo, Lin, do you get one of the here? She does not. Oh, damn. That's Stop. surprisingly what good. What if? Same hit as... Uh, I mean, even if we kill him, right, we still need a way out here. 
Uh, I mean, he could finish after Deke uses the armor's layer first. Uh, Deke dies though, so we have to heal him. Yeah. Like, no matter what, we have to make some sort of a wall here. Albert doesn't even kill. Cringe. Yeah, I will say, I mean, if if Lin, by some miracle, gets the kill, which actually it's only like... Nah, never mind, it's not that likely, now that I think about it. But... Yeah, because she'd have to hit both. Oof. Yeah. I think the play is to just prepare to have Marcus and Zealot stand here for a turn with their axes equipped. And mm -hmm. just kind of be like, okay, you can't kill me, so... I'm just going to stand here and laugh at you. Uh, we give her this archer through some other dubious means. Uh, just so that they don't get attacked an extra time. And then from there, uh, we just stack out Lin against the boss, I guess. Just, just have her stand so. here, or have her do that, and then heal her with... Well, I don't have a men anymore, so she might not be out of Oko range. But just like go there with Lin, stand there for a turn. Because we didn't damage him anyway. And then from there, uh, Armor Slayer with Rutger maybe. Uh, maybe is Rutger full health right now? He is. So if we drop Rutger in range and then trade the Armor Slayer to him with Zealot and then have him equip the Hand Axe, that could be a pretty productive use of our time. Next turn we can use Rutger like and Lin. Yeah, okay. So let us drop you here. Uh, Rutger. Yeah. And just move to the side, like some place where no one wants to be. And I do need a new Vuln on him. We can borrow, like... Alex well, we got to trade. We got to trade with Rucker anyway. So yeah. Oh, that's true. I would like him to keep a Vuln, I guess, but we have to do this then. Uh, so do this and this. Yes, yeah, I guess you might as well use it and Vuln up. Go here and here. So I would like Marcus to have like some kind of axe that doesn't that isn't a halberd. So maybe Roy goes like here and then Wade. I don't want to expose Wade, but I do want an Iron Axe here to the Halberd or something. Mm -hmm. I just have Marcus stand here for a second. Just I don't even want to attack. I just want to stand there. That's and right. do we have maybe can Alan unlock D swords on the archer? Uh, that'd be funny. <laughs> that'd actually be really useful. Uh, okay, so we have to move to, with Dorothy because I I mean I guess it's okay if Alan stands here. Does not like the guys have threatening range attacks. Uh, this would actually be pretty good use over time. Yeah. This is three worth sword XP, so that should be enough. Should be three worth, yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's enough. All right, that Dude, was a pretty so good, good idea, actually. We're so good. And then we can heal up Deke so that we have an extra armor slayer option next turn. Mm -hmm. well, actually, maybe I should heal Jarrett because then Deke can just heal himself with a Vaughn. Now, Jarrett theoretically can suffer from success. Theoretically, of course. Theoretically, yeah. What what weapon does he have equipped? He has a hand axe, so pretty unlikely yeah. overall. A hand axe is and then never really successful in this game. Just get the barrier. Yeah, that's a really good item I have, actually. It's a very good item. At this point, I think the Shanna plan is lost. I'm just going to fire north. Yeah. Have Alan. We gave it a good go. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, ooh. That's useful. Offer suggestions. Stay behind the front lines. Gotcha. Good plan. Excellent. Gotcha. Okay. Every Thank time. You. Every time. No, I will fight. Uh, are we gonna be doing any Lin play or no? I don't think not. I think not this turn. Like I'm out That's of options hard. for this turn, but next turn, yeah, maybe. Let him. Let him attack Rucker. Yeah. Make him attack Rucker. Yeah, make him. And uh, let's hope he doesn't crit. So let's hope these guys don't kill Zealot. That's the Pock champ. Oof. I know I know we looked at his stats earlier, but I yeah. was... I swear to God, in a if way. this guy crits me, I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay, alright. Rutger shows him how it's done. Ooh. Oh, I don't know about you, know, but it looks like a Link kill to me. You know what must <laughs> be done. <laughs> alright, that guy's dead. Now uh, We can farm the calves now. Well, not that one, but... <laughs> Most of these calves yeah, are farm now. We can get the kill on the on the Pock Champ at least. Not with Roy, unfortunately. We can also get him with Lin and just get the boss kill with someone else. Oh, never mind. Lin doesn't double never this mind. Cam. But we yeah. have Dorothy. Yo. Uh, never mind. No. Okay. Never mind. No, no, we need eight. Hmm, I mean, it's technically enough. 
Halberd? Uh, Halberd puts him, like, really low. Like, that was, like, 33 to him. You can do, like... I mean, you can, you can easily kill one of these, of course. Like, no questions asked, but we, we want the prize, right? Like, eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this Halberd, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we, are we in a lot of trouble if we fail to kill the boss this turn? Uh, we might be. I guess Rutger Should didn't we... get hit, so we might as well just try to hit with Rutger before we do anything else. And then yeah, let's, let's we do have this first. Backup maybe. trades to get more kills. If we get crit, we'll there be quite upset. Yeah. But... Okay. okay. Right. So... There goes Dubious. One problem solved. Oh no. Not me. Rutger kill. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Chad is done. I'm gonna go for the cheesy Halberd on this guy, because we can seize no matter what. Can we seize no matter what? Yeah, we can. Okay, there's this awkward thing with FE6 thrones where they cost a point of movement for Roy. So sometimes you think mm -hmm. you're in a siege range, but you're not in a siege range. Oh, yeah. Alright, wait. Yeah, he made up for it. Let's go. Trade Halberd? Uh, yeah, we could. But Ooh, we yeah. could trade Horses Lair. Oh, wait. Is that here? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Alright. Um, Noah? Right, it's Noah. I mean, we can get into better candidates, of course. I mean, if we kill the boss with not Lin, then we might as well kill one of the cows with Lin. Um, but I want to kill a Pock Champ with Lin. I wonder how much Noah would do with a horse slayer. Probably Oko. Easy. Yeah, easy. He also dies. Oof. Not easy. <laughs> if we miss. Yeah, that's if we miss. I want to I want to get this kill with Lin, though. Nine. Could you do 18? Do you remember? I think that was enough. 19, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, Marcus, you're up. All you need to do is hit, and then let Lin hit, and then not crit. Our answer has arrived. And e even if things get like super duper terrible and dicey, we just use... Yeah, we just press the escape button. Press the rep button. Get in the, get in the pod. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tanky. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right, Perfect. Worth. So much XP. Worth. 30 XP for an overleveled enemy. Thanks, FE6. Very generous of you. Alright, this is obviously the way to weaken this guy. Yeah, that was 41 XP, wasn't it? I can't I thought, remember. Mm, everything in that region looks the same to me. Or sell it. Okay. Hand axe broke. Feels good. That's right. Dude, honestly, feels good. And then. No. No! No! No, Dorothy! Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Lance is too good. <laughs> wait a minute. No, I already used Wade. Oh, I was saying wait a minute. I know. Oh, shut up. I'm making a name joke. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? See ya. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys next episode. Dorothy M Gaming. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. I told you, this is her map. Alright, is this her first level? I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I mean, I mean come I'm on. tempted to say it was strength. fun while it lasted with her, but they will not forgive me if I do it's that. It's plus strength, like, you know, you know. Do we even have to deploy the slots for her? I don't even know. We'll see yeah, next if you episode. Got, if you got that level on Alan, you wouldn't be upset. You'd be like, nice, good level, Alan. <laughs> True. All right. That's a good summary of what's going to happen next episode. Retake the castle, get Lena, uh, get support partners for Lin, uh, unit, useful units like Wendy, Gwendolyn, uh, Wend, uh, Boots, uh, Barth, Armor Slayer, all these useful units will join next time. There we go. Whew. Love it. We did it. Goodbye. That was rough, but we did it. See y'all.